Sarah Ann Dyer, I think the last time I said your full name was the day I proposed to you on that beach in Coronado in San Diego. I am pretty sure that you are literally magical. Because there have been times when we were walking around and then all of a sudden we stumbled into a free circus or when we were hiking in the middle of a drought and found a beautiful waterfall or when we found a Christmas tree village in the middle of the USC campus or when we stumbled into the middle of a red carpet awards in LA. This kind of stuff happens all the time when we're together and so I'm so glad that we'll be together forever in our own magical fairy tale. Brennan, I have no words to describe how happy and grateful I am that we are here today celebrating our love and promising forever to each other. I still remember the first time I saw you as you walked through those doors of the church. I felt an instant connection to you. Though I can't promise not to encourage you to be early or on time, <laughs> I can promise to continue to laugh with you and learn that sometimes it's okay to be a little late. I'm confident that you will make an amazing husband and I'm excited to experience his life's challenges and joys with you. The magic through these almost five years together is still there. People say that magic tends to fade a little through the years, but I promise to find the magic in the big and little things in our lives. And I promise to celebrate every small achievement, every goal met, and every obstacle overcome. I know we will spend the rest of our lives together and in love. Thank you for being my partner and my everything. I love you so much. Brennan and Sarah, you both have joined voluntarily in this ceremony of marriage and have been formally united as husband and wife in the presence of your family and friends. And as you have declared openly your clear intention to be considered before all the world as a married couple, and have exchanged rings and vows attesting thereto, it is my honor and my very great pleasure to pronounce you to be married. Brennan, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Schneider. Thank you to everyone for coming today to help celebrate Brennan and Sarah as they begin this next chapter of their lives together. I am so blessed to have a sister with whom I have hundreds of amazing memories. Brennan, you are an amazingly thoughtful person. You always pay attention to the little things about my sister and I notice how often you do things, both big and small, to make her happy. As her older sister, I've always hoped that Sarah would find a man that loves her for her compassion, her intelligence, her ability to always find a reason to dance. And I'm so happy that she found that person in Brennan. Brennan and Sarah, I know that together you will build a life that is full of adventure and love, and Brennan, I'm very happy to welcome you into our crazy family. I love you both. So let's raise a glass to the newlyweds, wishing you guys a lifetime of happiness and love to Sarah and Brennan. As the father of the bride, I'm supposed to give you some words of wisdom and some advice. I'd first like to share the advice that your mom and I got. The father of Flaherty, Father of Flaherty told Kathleen, don't be a leaky faucet and drip, drip, drip. His advice to me was put her on a pedestal. And I have, and I think it's worked for us very much. Uh, never ever stop telling each other that you love them. I always, you know, the, the saying was, don't go to bed bad. I think the better lesson here is wake up and tell each other that you love them. I think it's a better way to start your day. May you two live happily ever after.